Science and theater, the two are just as opposite as protons and electrons. But as reporter Meredith Hackler shows us, even opposites can work together in the name of education. So then we sort the flies under the microscope here and we separate out the mutants or whatever it is that we're looking for. From the lab to the stage. Another fly gone to the gutter. Theater students and biology undergraduates collaborated to bring science and art together as one. Still twitching. I don't trust this guy. He's dead, Don. It's really important that the public understand what we do in the laboratory. Um, and it's really important for us to be able to share that work with anybody who's interested and also to be able to get people interested. The theater students say, well, what should we do? How should we do this? And they say, well, this is what happens in science, and so let's find a way in which we can make that on, put that on stage. They'll unveil the flies, and they're going to come out and say the classical music plays, yeah. and then we're, like, off scene. We're off scene, yeah. And communicating the scientists' findings on stage was the focus of theater students. It wasn't really a performance as much as it was presenting our work. Have you seen the fly with the yellow eyes? Yeah, I heard that only happens one in a hundred million. The class is the first of its kind at North Hennepin Community College. Well, this looks tasty. Its goal is to show students the value of each other's majors. Theater students stay in the theater, biologists stay in the lab. But taking both of them and, and working together and creating something together is, I think, something for life. In science, when we're done with our work, we have to present it. Teaching biology students how to communicate their findings. There's a lot of small techniques that we learned in here, like projecting your voice and like little exercises to try and get relaxed before you go and speak in front of the audience. They would talk us through their process and I would have to learn how to ask questions. And showing theater students the value of seeking information. We talked about mutation, we talked about the genes and some evolution. And inside this pupil case, the dark ones are ones that are about to become adult fruit flies. The science behind the play presents the findings of students' research on fruit flies. Was the animal harmed in this process? What a fantastic question. From the perspective of the fruit fly. Kind of like a high school bully situation going on, and it did end up working out better for the one who kind of got picked on in the end. Dance party! The combination might seem a little strange. Woo! But the hope is that students can get out of their comfort zones and learn to work with anyone, no matter how different they may be. I hope all the students take away the power of collaboration. Meredith Hacker, CCX News.